Next is, uh, is uh, Jarvis Sanford, who is a principal of the Dodge, Dodge Renaissance Academy. Good to see you again. It was only a week ago, I believe, Jarvis. Uh, thank you for being with us. A uh, public school in Chicago. San Sanford is a distinguished educational background that includes a BA from Morehouse, an MBA for, and a Doctorate of Education from Northern Illinois University, and is a graduate of the New Leaders for New Schools Premier Principal Teaching Program. The accomplishments that bring him here today, however, come during his three-year tenure at Dodge. In 2005, 26% of the students scored at or above national norms. One year later, 62% of the students achieved this level, representing a 36% gain in, in one year, the largest gain in the state of, uh, of Illinois. Uh, and I think Mr. Davis had something he wanted to say about those tremendous uh, uh, results. Well, thank Mr. you very much, Mr. Mr. Sanford. Got and the only thing that I would really say is that when we describe the community where the Dodge School is located, it is one of the low income or one of the poorest communities in urban America, which makes the accomplishments of Dr. Sanford and his staff even more outstanding when you consider the impediments that exist in that community. And we're certainly pleased that he's here and look forward to his testimony. Mr. Chairman and members of the committee, thank you for this opportunity to testify before you today. Mr. Davis, thank you for those kind words and for the work that you do in Chicago. Research supports what common sense tells us. The two most important variables affecting student learning are the quality of the teachers and the quality of the school leader. And this means that, that the most urgent challenge in an effort to improve student achievement across the country is a problem of human capital. Both of the two, both of the two presenters before me were keenly, keenly aware of that and testified as such. And how do we develop the, the teachers, and how do we develop the leaders who will make sure this is possible? One, recru one teacher recruitment. On teacher recruitment, two things are clear. First, that the, 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 the traditional approaches on teacher training are not providing either the, the quantity or quality of teachers and principals we will need in order to transform American education. And second, we know that there are programs around the country that are recruiting and training principals who are having a profound impact on student achievement. And I would like to spend my time here helping to share with you exactly the results at Dodge Renaissance Academy where I am the principal. Dodge is over 95 percent low income. However, I'm proud even more so to share the statistic that we were able to achieve the highest gains in the state of Illinois on the Illinois Standards Achievement Test. Dodge scores skyrocketed from 26% of students at or above national norms to 62% in 2006, a 36% gain in just one year. And when individuals ask how we accomplished this, I say that it is all because of good teachers and good leadership. And I attribute much of that success really to the Academy of Urban School Leadership and New Leaders for New Schools. The, the, the Academy for Urban School Leadership has been changing really the reality of underperforming and under, undeserved schools in Chicago for the past six years and is one of only three not-for-profit urban teacher residency programs in our country. Through AUSL's teacher preparation program, it's really a model that is, is really warranted after the medical profession. It's really a requirement of a clinical residency. And the program requires that a teacher candidate spend a full year school apprenticeship with a mentor teacher in one of the urban teaching academies like Dodge. During that year, residents earn a master's degree and state certification. But here's the key, theory and practice are, are woven together as coursework is specifically designed to equip the residents in order to teach in low performing schools. And AUSL also provides continuing professional development in an effort to help its graduates through instructional workshops, networking opportunities, and coaching. And their field coaches are, are strategically aligned and provide graduates with intensive support during the first two years in the classroom. I particularly appreciate the value of this type of training model. And it is because I, too, was trained in a residency model program as a part of my principal training program with New Leaders for New Schools. One, I was honored in an effort to be selected from over 250 applicants as one of 14 new leaders in order to join my cohort in Chicago. 
As a part of the new leaders training model, all fellows really engage in highly rigorous coursework that focuses on instructional and organizational leadership and then spends a year in a full-time paid residency with an outstanding mentor principal in an urban public school. I think new leaders both for new schools and AUSL have three implications for the reauthorization of No Child Left Behind. And the first and most important is that we should continue to support growing teacher and principal training programs that are successful because we know that developing outstanding teachers and principals is the only way to reach our goal that no child gets left behind. And the second issue is that we should hold the adults accountable not only for the results but also Hold them, accountable, hold them accountable as just we do our students. And this means we should track the success of teachers and principals as they go out into the world and connect these results back to the teacher and principal training programs that prepared them. And this will help us really to determine which programs are really turning out great teachers and which are not preparing our teachers for urban schools. Third, we will recruit and develop these outstanding teachers and principals we need in order to make sure we get them to the schools that need them the most. We must provide, as Mr. Klein just indicated, incentives for our best teachers and principals who work in the hardest, hardest to staff schools and struggling the most. In addition, I think, I think teacher and principal training programs are an important lesson that low performing schools should not and, and will not continue in the future. I welcome any and all of you to visit Dodge and to visit the Academy of Urban School Leadership and to visit new leaders for new schools and to experience the models in action. And I believe that you'll have an incredible opportunity to really support these programs that are achieving outstanding results and truly guarantee that no child is left behind. Thank you.